What is up my fellow beasts, welcome back to a new video, today I am bringing you my top 10 perks only beasts use in Call of Duty. So this was actually a suggestion by two beasts, I don't know if they had the same idea on the same day or if they copied each other's comment, whatever, but thank you for the suggestion. Uh, Sleek Ukia said, yeah the next video you should make should be uh, called 5 perks that only savage beasts use and Anime Lover as I said had the same idea, do, do a top 10 or a 5 perks beasts use in Call of Duty. I decided to go with the top 10 because that way I could include more beastly perks on this list. Ladies and gentlemen, just for fun, let me know after you watch this list how many of these perks you use in the Call of Duty game. So without further ado, at the number 10 position we have from Modern Warfare 2 the perk Scrambler. You know what, this is a perk that um, does more harm than good to you because it gives away your position. When you use Scrambler, what this thing does is the closer you get to the enemy, the more after a certain distance you will jam their radar. As I said, that will give away your position. As soon as people see their radar getting jammed or scrambled, they'll be like, yo, there's a guy here using that dumbass perk, let me just sit in the corner and either wait for him to go away or I'll just wait for him to pass in front of me, I'll shoot him in the face. And that's why I've always thought this perk was pretty garbage. But at the same time, because it gives away your position, I think that it's, you know, it's it's a challenging perk to use and a fun perk to use. The other day I saw a guy using this tank in MLB2 and he was doing very well. Who's, I tried the same these? thing. And to prevent and to kind of like counter people from sitting in corners and just uh, shoot you, I started using the shotguns and oh my god, those motherfuckers look like sitting ducks it is super fun at the number nine position we have double tap which is a perk that exists in Call of Duty 4, World of War, and in Modern Warfare Mastered with the same name. It, it's the same perk in those three Call of Duty games. I'm pretty sure it might exist in other Call of Duty games, but with a different name. I decided to go with this one, because especially in Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare Mastered, in the second tier of perks, people people either just use a Stopping Power, a Juggernaut, or the Stealth perk. In Call of Duty 4, it is Off the Grid. In uh, World of War, it is Camouflage. That's all people use. There's also a slide of hand that people use once in a while. That's, you know, that's a perk I love using. And then there's double tap. I absolutely love double tap and it goes very well with the Uzi and also with the Scorpion, also with the Mac-10, which is the gun you gotta get in the supply drops if you wanna use it. But it's a perk for beasts that goes very well when you use these guns made for beasts. At the number 8 position we have Hardline from Call of Duty Ghost. Now this is a very simple perk as it you know it just allows you to get your kill streaks a little bit faster but as I said I'm choosing Hardline from Call of Duty Ghost because it serves you a great purpose. It allows you to assemble the Juggernaut army faster. The Juggernaut army is something that is definitely only made by beasts and if Hardline helps you get your Jug army faster then it's a perk that beasts use. It's very important that you get your Juggernauts as fast as possible, it doesn't matter if you're trying to do the Juggernaut army solo or with your teammates and definitely by using Hardline you will be able to get uh, your Jugs way way faster. Then we have ladies and gentlemen also from Call of Duty Ghost, Sitrep. Sitrep is a perk that allows you to see to spot enemy equipment and kill streaks through walls. There are perks that kind of like do the same thing and have a different name in other Call of Duty games. But the reason why I decided to go with Sitrep is because one of the reasons why people complained so much about Call of Duty Ghost was the IED. People were like, oh my god, Call of Duty Ghost is nothing but a fucking minefield. You have IEDs all over the place. The game is unplayable. I'm like, motherfucker, were you using Sitrep? No, then shut the fuck up. Then it's your goddamn fault you were getting killed by those IEDs. But the best thing, the reason why this perk is used by beasts is because in Call of Duty Ghost, uh, the IEDs are very powerful and you can actually kill slobs with their own IEDs. I absolutely love it. And then we have, ladies and gentlemen, still from Call of Duty Ghost, who oh, showing Go some love on this video, the Marathon perk. And the reason why people hated Go so much was because of the map size. Oh my god, whenever I play Ghost, I feel that 
I'm playing Battlefield. The maps are so big I can't see anyone. Well, motherfucker, were you using Marathon? No? Then shut the fuck up. You should have been using that shit. Marathon is definitely a perk that beasts love using because it allows you to be all over the place. Obviously, slobs love camping. They don't need Marathon just to run from window to window inside a building. And obviously, they're slobs. They don't like running. Next, we have... At the number 5 position, the perk Tactical Mask Pro from Black Ops 1. There are a few tactical masks here and there in the Call of Duty games, but the one from Black Ops 1 is my favorite tactical mask and one of my favorite perks ever for playing the objective. When you use tactical mask uh, while capturing flags in Domination, it's definitely gonna help you because as soon as you hop on an enemy flag, they will immediately throw you a swarm of stun grenades and and flash grenades and it's super annoying when you get flashed you can't move and whatever tactical mask will make those things tickle you and also tactical mask is very good for when you have to storm a building so let's say you know that there's a little Jimmy camping inside a building but you don't know if he's camping with his little famas in the left corner or in the right corner of the building so all you gotta do is you throw a stun grenade in the building and when you get the hit marker tactical mask will tell you if the enemy is to your left or to your right that's another little feature I love about this thing and it also counters the Nova gas grenade aka the fart grenade and I love using this grenade for killing people and sometimes I might have to get inside the fart myself uh, for when I'm trying to kill the enemy in black ops 1 and obviously tactical mask will prevent uh, me from getting killed by my own fart grenade, which would be definitely embarrassing. Next, at the number 4 position, we have the perk scavenger. As a Spartan beast, uh, as a player who loves using the riot shield and the throwing knife, scavenger is very, very important because it allows me to resupply my main weapon, which is the throwing knife. And I'm choosing Scavenger from Ghost for this uh, top 10 because Scavenger from Ghost only allows you to resupply that equipment, the throwing knife. That's a sign the guys from Infinity Ward know that throwing knives take skill to use unlike everything else pretty much and that's why it is the only equipment that you are allowed to resupply by using this perk in uh, the game and that's also another reason why I love playing Ghost because you have no stun grenade spam, no C4 spam, no ID spam, nothing of that shit that uh, you have in certain Call of Duty games, so, you know, which names I'm not gonna mention, you know, EMP spams and C4 spams. And next we have, ladies and gentlemen, at the number 3 position, the perk Shades from World of War. Now, this is a very simple perk, all it does is it makes the signal flare light less annoying, alright, so that's all it does. It still affects you, but if you use the perk Shades, it doesn't affect you that much but people don't really use the signal flare in world of war you know slobs just like using the the bouncing baddie you know and stuff like that so why the shades get the number three position on this list well ladies and gentlemen when you use the perk shades your character actually gets a pair of shades so you will look like a freaking badass when you use this thing automatically your power level will go over 9000 and i just i think that it is pretty cool that when you use this perk your character gets a pair of ray bands and you just you look like the terminator running around destroying little jimmies it is freaking awesome and this is something a lot of people don't know about but there is something else Else, ladies and gentlemen you can use together with shades that will make you look even more badass it will make you look even more biblical which is the flamethrower also from world at war I'm not talking about a weapon I'm talking about a perk ladies and gentlemen the flamethrower is a perk in world at war and it's a weapon at the same time how freaking crazy is that and as if that wasn't crazy enough right you get a perk there is a weapon, it never runs out of fuel, you can spam it as much as you want, it will obviously uh, overheat for a little bit, uh, but then 
all you have to do is you let the fuel load again whatever it's called and then boom you will be ready to continue roasting a little jimmy so this perk is absolutely awesome you are able to have three guns at the same time you're able to have your primary your secondary and then the one and only the biblical flamethrower and finally ladies and gentlemen at the number one position we have my favorite perk of all time i believe which is flak jacket pro from black ops one it protects you against all kinds of explosives but it also protects you against fire so when i'm running around with the flamethrower i always try to use flak jacket pro because it prevents me from burning myself like a freaking scrub and it also prevents me from getting burned uh, by enemy players also using the flamethrower which is definitely something you don't really see too often in black ops one because nerds are too busy using the famas and I also love Flak Jacket Pro because I can drop my napalms on top of me while I am capturing enemy flags and this way I'm covering myself on fire, I'm covering a huge part, a huge portion of that area on fire and I'm preventing enemies from getting close to me, from killing me while I am capturing their shit and as i said most people are too busy running around with ghosts and famas so they cannot get close to me because of all that fire i dropped on the ground so there you go ladies and gentlemen these are the 10 perks i chose for this video of 10 perks only beasts using call of duty i hope you enjoyed this video let me know your opinion in the comment section below thank you for watching i'll see you next time peace out